Here's the question. How can I use my Dropbox account to get other people whom I need to get files from, whether they are files that are too large to email and or files that I need to get from multiple people and I want to manage the collection of those files? How can I use my Dropbox account to do that when others don't or may not have Dropbox? Let me show you how to do this. For me, it's really pretty easy. I start right here. I go to the Dropbox icon that's on because I have it integrated into my Mac OS. However, you want to get to your Dropbox. So here's Dropbox on the, uh, on the website. And then I go over here where it says File Request. Click on File Request. And then on File Request, I click on New Request. Click on that. Give it a name. This is Conference uh, April 2023. Clean that up a little bit. And then I say, I need your bio, profile, your profile image, and the agenda. And I'm just making stuff up. It's going to go into that folder right there because it's going to go based on that name. Now, there's a naming. I can set the naming convention of the files I want to. What it's going to do is going to use the sender's name. Okay, it's going to put the sender's name, any other field I want to use. But it's, in this case, it's using the sender's name to put that into the file of what they send me. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Let me stop doing that. Come back here. I've got the folder, uh, the, the excuse me, I've got the uh, title. I've got the request. There's a folder it's going to go into. And now I hit create. Now I need to send this to people to get these files. Hang on a second. Let me send it to Burris Consulting. Let me send it to Teddy Burris at gmail.com. Oop, at gmail.com. And I can send others if I want to. That's enough for right now. Let me add a message. I need these files soon, please. And that's all I need to say. I can copy that as well and send that link to people. But this is going to go send to them directly. I'm going to hit share. And now that request has gone out. Let me show you what it looks like on my end, the requester. There's the file. You create a file request right there. I can preview. I can see all of your requests. So I don't need this email right here. So let's ignore that for a minute. Let's go see what the others got. Here's Burris Consulting. He got this email that basically said Teddy Burris is requesting files for that. Teddy wrote this note. And here's where you upload the files. Now it says it needs the files. I'm going to add files from my computer. I'm just going to add some random files. Let's see what that looks like. That looks like a good one. And that looks like a good one. And there's the PDF. And now I'm sending three files. I'm going to hit open. And look, it dropped all three files in there. Wants to know my name. You know, this is BCI. This is uh, Burris Consulting at gmail.com. And then there's the three files, confirm all that, nothing else to send. I filled that out, hit upload. One, two, working on the third, boom, there's a the third file. Those are all sent. Now Dropbox wants me to, you know, try Dropbox for free or upload more files. That's all I need to do. You'll see back over here, I got a message that says my files are uploaded. Let's go to the other account and let's send files from the other account. I thought I sent the request to two email accounts. I didn't, but let me just copy the link and get two different email accounts to do it. I'm gonna copy the link and I'm gonna go uh, over here to this account and I don't see the request there. So I'm just gonna use the link. So paste the link in here and there's a request. So this, this same account, this is a different account. This is Teddy Burris at gmail.com. I'm gonna hit add from computer. I'm going to get this image, this image. Let me get a bunch of images. And let me get a document. And let me upload. Hit open. So I'm uploading one, two, three, four files. And these to know my name, TL Burris. And I'm at Teddy Burris at gmail.com. And I'm going to upload. There's one. Two, three, this one might be a little bit bigger. There it goes. 
Again, Dropbox is going to do the same thing. Once it's done, it says upload more, try Dropbox for free. I don't want that. So now I'm going to go back to the person who requested the files. And now you'll see that BCI, there's where I created the request. BCI uploaded files and TL Burris uploaded files. And if I click on any one of these and say, see new files, there's all the files that got uploaded. And this is what's really interesting is that when you click on any one of these, it lets you view them. And you'll see that this is number, the image didn't, used to be number one uh, PNG, but now it's number one Bur TL Burris. Look at this next one, number two, seven E. And then this one here is, you know, the long extension, long document, uh, TL Burris is in the file name. They put the name of the person sending in here. Look here, you can see right here, this is reviewing your results, the date, and then BCI, this is who sent it. Pretty interesting tactic to put the name of the person who sent the file into the file name. And so there they are all right there. And again, the interesting thing about this is I'm collecting all of these files all in one file request folder. This is a previous test, all in one file request folder. This is really, and by the way, when I'm done with this, I can go to the file request and I can click on the file request and I can stop it, close request, and no one else can upload files to that, uh, based on that request anymore, because the request is closed. This is a really useful tool in Dropbox, file request. If you're trying to get multiple files from lots of people and you want to put them all in one folder, great way to manage the collection of those files. Secondly, it's also a very useful tool if you're trying to even collect one file that again is too big to send through regular email and the other person doesn't have Google Drive or Dropbox. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy, all about using Dropbox as well. I hope this is helpful for you.